you're watching this video because you're suffering with chronic if you're feeling in your body excuse me reframe the wording if you're feeling pain sensations in your body in your neck your back your arm your stomach your knee your elbow and you may have even heard of the concept of neuroplasticity and the rewiring of your brain to help you direct your brain to help you relieve and cure yourself yourself of chronic pain then this video could be of interest to you my name is Trevor Russell and I have been sharing videos around my journey uh, in relation to how I have experienced uh, bouts of chronic pain in my body over many years and uh, when I discovered uh, Dr. John Isano and learnt the concept of TMS, Tension Mind Syndrome, I quickly discovered that my chronic pain that I'd been feeling in my body uh, had nothing to do with any physical conditions. It was actually my brain's triggering response to past trauma and how I did life and still do life, but I don't have pain now, but I've learned to do life differently. Uh, however, what I want to talk about in this video is a quick introduction or my perspective on neuroplasticity and through what we think and what we believe and what we say and what we do over time can help us to rewire our brain and even rewire our brain to break the chronic pain cycle. I uh, was inspired to do this video because I've actually been listening an audio book, uh, listening to an audio book called The Source by Dr. Tara Swart. I think I've pronounced that correctly, but it's called The Source. And uh, Dr. Tara's work has really been um, a new approach to taking the topic of manifestation and brain change uh, from a trained medical doctor, psychologist who now is uh, a coach and um, a real thought leader teaching the concepts and, pro and me uh, methodology behind really understanding how uh, manifestation works and really understanding what we can do to rewire our brain. And, he, and in her book, she talked about today how uh, pain can be induced in the body by what's going on in the brain through stress, past and present, which was for me just a wonderful thing to hear that uh, a medical professional is now embracing and appreciates and understands that uh, just because we feel pain in the body doesn't mean that it's caused because of the body but can actually be caused by what our brain is doing and so where am I going with this video well I want to talk about um, some things that I've learned around rewiring the brain and what you may not hear that much out there about on the journey to creating change in the body in change in what we want through what we believe so let's talk today about the pain in the body and manifesting and changing how our brain operates so we can relieve and break the pain cycle and you know as I like to call it uh, cure our pain and so coming back to the concept of let's just say for example um, you're suffering with chronic pain and uh, let's say it's in your neck you've got chronic neck pain and through your research you've discovered that you uh, what what you're really experiencing is TMS, chronic tension mind syndrome pain, tension myositis syndrome pain, because you are an A-type personality, you're sensitive, you're a perfectionist, you're, uh, you struggle to set boundaries. I mean, I'm not saying you're all these things, but you could be any one of these. You could have experienced um, some form of emotional, physical, uh, and all the other type of abuses in childhood that could have uh, had an impact on who you are and 
and these are the these are the I guess the th the things so I can't find the word right now but what can contribute to people who have a propensity to experience uh, chronic pain in their body but let's just say you've discovered all of that and you've gone on the journey to want to manifest change you want to see yourself free of pain you want to utilize neuro neuroplastic uh, technology to change how your brain operates so you can brain break the pain cycle which is wonderful and what is that comprised of that comprises of what you believe you believe that your pain is caused by the brain and there's nothing physically wrong with you that you believe you can cure your your pain and you believe that you can actually um, break the pain cycle by what you say what you think what you believe over time which works I know it does but here is what I'd like to share in this video just to help you on your healing journey or where you're at if this is relevant to you or just a nice reminder is this if just because someone says oh what you say if you keep saying something you keep believing something over time it will eventually happen and it can and I know it can because I've done it but from what my experience is it's not a straight line journey because what I found is you can do all of that and the brain has got this deeply grooved cut let's say you've been walking down a particular path for a very long time and the path is going to be cut in the grass you you will see your path and that's how you get from here to there now let's just say that's your pain and your pain has been running in that groove I've got pain I struggle to move and oh my god it's it's always there and it's deeply grooved into your neurological wiring and then you decide, okay, I'm going to take a new path. I'm going to start walking a new path. I'm going to believe that it's a, a condition that my brain is doing and I, through changing my beliefs that it's something that will pass and will go and my body's powerful and it can heal. And it's a wonderful, powerful machine uh, organ that can, can do this. And you're starting to cut a new pathway to walk a new path to where you want to go, which is to break free of the pain cycle and let it float and dissipate away because your brain's given up the things that it does to cut off things minute amounts of oxygen in parts of the body that causes the pain which is what dr. Sano uh, discovered that that's what the brain's actually doing it's caught it's causing a triggered response to parts of our body where we have normal abnormalities or no abnormality just picks a part of the body you know uh, anyway so you, you start walking that path but because it's such a new path sometimes even though you know to go that way and think that way you're going to end up going to the other path or your brain's going to go the other path because it's familiar you're trying really hard to go on that path and then you're flipped onto the other path because the brain's like no we're used to this pain path this is what we have done this is what we've wired in and the neurology is deep it's deeply cut into the grass or you know as the metaphor goes so why what is this relevance to is be really kind to yourself because to cut a new pathway to walk a new path of new beliefs and really you know staying committed to believing that your body can heal and this is no big deal and even though you're feeling pain and you're being told to get on with your life and move and you know there's nothing wrong with you and you can actually move your body even though you're scared and afraid to but you believe that you can and you keep start doing it because even though it's uncomfortable you know eventually well I want to tell you eventually what happens is because I've done it the brain gives up the fight or it takes a while it gives up the fight you're you're on the new path then you go into the old path which is the pain path and you come back to the new path but what I just want to let you know with love and complete understanding and compassion in this video is stay present to the path but if you find yourself being taken onto the other neurological old pathways oh this is this, there's something else wrong with me I can't my brain can't cure this I can't change which of those old beliefs because you're getting pulled over there please be patient 
understand neurological change in belief and habits take time this is just like getting fit at the gym or losing weight or changing careers or finding a new relationship you know going and setting these goals and creating these changes takes time because the brain has got to catch up it's been running that neurological pathway this is my inexperienced way that I feel and see it and this is what I want to share so excuse me if it's not very technical uh, but anyway you're walking that path neurologically to get that new path grooved in takes a while but you we have to keep walking it and at times if we go to the old path don't worry the next day or the following day we can walk the new path and go okay it's a bit tough today or yesterday but I still believe this can happen others have done it I can do it and these things take time and I just want to say with my hand on my heart I can honestly say having gone on this journey if you can just be really patient really kind and at times a bit courageous because doing things when you have pain but you've been told by people like me and other people, Dan and Nicole, Sw uh, Nicole Satch and, um, and others in this space of um, curing you know, this pain through understanding uh, neuroplasticity is you've got to have some courage. It takes time and to do something when it feels painful and uncomfortable to do can be feel like you've got to be courageous at times but I do want to let you know if you're willing to keep walking that path stay on it keep believing even when it's tough keep going be kind to yourself on the hard days be really celebrate you know celebrate the good days be gentle with you on the, uh, the, the the hard days and you keep going the pain I promise you will eventually lift it will eventually lift and if it doesn't straight away or it takes time be kind to yourself and even when it does lift I want to let you know I get a little pain now and then I had some pain here the other day but because I've cut a new neurological belief system which is this is just TMS it's just my brain reacting to a bit of stress and I just believe so deeply now on that new path I've developed that this will pass it's no big deal there's nothing I need to do just get on with my day maybe just be a little kind of myself slow down a little bit don't be so process heavy in my head which I can be and guess what it goes away it goes away but I have walked the new path you can walk the new path you can walk and cut that new path to curing your chronic pain I know you can now, just to close off on this video, thank you firstly for watching and if you like it, please click like, subscribe, I've got more videos coming through and uh, if you, you know, can relate to what I'm saying or you want to ask questions, please love to hear your comments, what you think about being on this journey to break free of the pain cycle and what you're doing, what you're doing, tell me about that. A lot of people in this space talk about their symptoms. Now, if you want to keep that old, deeply cut walking path grooved in deep in the ground, part of that is talking about your symptoms. Don't do that. Stop talking about your symptoms. Stop talking about what the doctor prescribed. You are bubbling along, as my mum says. If someone says, how are you doing? Saying, I'm bubbling along. I'm getting there, I'm bubbling along. I'm just bubbling along. Don't go to the symptoms, ignore the symptoms. And on tough days, I know it can be difficult, breathe, be kind to yourself, but you don't need to give people your diagnosis. You do not need to unpack what you've been told. Just keep walking the path and I promise you the brain will eventually give it up because it just says she, that she, he's not concerned about this. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna free them from what I'm doing to them to try and protect them and keep them in this fear, fight, flight state of what it's doing unconsciously. So I hope you find this helpful on your journey. I know it's a journey, I've been there. And uh, when it comes up a little bit, I pull these tools out and I get back on the path that I know works, uh, but it does work. You can do this. Uh, you are powerful your brain is so powerful uh, so do the work do the work be kind to yourself 
apply what you're being told from what we're sharing, read the information, think about the things you're doing, don't think on symptoms, don't do that, invest in yourself, commit a bit of time to this, commit time to talking to yourself, commit time to being gentle with yourself. Some days the path that you're cutting is gonna be really nice, other days it's gonna be difficult, but over time the new path that you're walking neurologically will get thicker and deeper and you will get to where you want to go, which that place is of freed up pain in the body, living your life the way you should be, but there is some things you've gotta do. You have gotta walk the path by believing taking care of yourself mentally, setting some boundaries, letting go of old trauma, forgiving yourself, being kind to yourself. These are the things that are the new pathway. The old pathway is beating yourself up, being judgmental and letting people walk all over you and being a perfectionist and pushing, pushing, pushing and, you know, gentleness, gentleness, loving, caring is the new path. That's the new path to pain-free living. Okay, enough from me. My name's Trevor Russell. Uh, love to hear from you. Reach out if you need any help. Maybe I can help you or one of my colleagues, uh, but we're here to help. But it's all about cutting the new pathway, not symptoms and just how deep it is. What do you want to do? Ask those questions to feel better, if that makes sense. Okay, I believe in you. Speak to you soon. Have a lovely evening. And look at that beautiful sunset over the back of the Gold Coast here in Australia. Ciao for now.